All right, welcome to another episode of The Intimidation Factor with your host, Tim. So this episode, I'll be trying to take off uh, a radiator off a 4-liter Jeep Cherokee and also changing, a, well, I won't be changing the water pump. I'm just putting on new gasket maker. I thought there was something wrong with the water pump, but the gasket's just not there. So I'll be doing that in this video. This isn't the normal way I like to start my videos, but I ran out of time, so we'll let the regular video carry on from here. I'd like to add that that is extremely tight, and I tried turning the wrong way just to crack it, and it didn't work. I ended up having to hold it and really give it the Gundy. Now we're at the stage of pulling the hoses off the radiator. This is the three quarters down here, down in there somewhere. This one was extremely tight. I uh, already had cracked it just to see. I can get it by hand now. No. Oh yeah, I'm barely getting it by hand. I gotta throw the wrench back okay, on now. We got this. Uh, Big nut up here. That was a 7 8. This one up here, right by your air compressor for your AC. That also pops right out. See if we can get the shot of pulling this thing out. There might be a little bit of coolant that comes out of this part. If I can get my pliers on it. Okay, put that up somewhere. Out of the way. Drain into the motor a little bit. Or just spill everywhere. There we go. Got her tucked in now. I'm tucked in back there. So now. I'm going to go ahead and drain the radiator. Uh, there's a little plug on the bottom. Uh, at this point you can tell I'm taking taking videos down at another vehicle. Uh, I started recording on this one a little late so I'll show you a little bit of the pre-process uh, to that in the video that's before this one so now I'm going to explain it to you. And then there's one hose down here as well that you have to disconnect. That's also going to start spitting out coolant like a motherfucker. Don't mind me while I adjust my wrench again. Or my pliers again. This one-handed camera bullshit is literally just that, some bullshit. Trying to leak all my coolant out on the fucking ground. So 
This would be a little easier if I took this front shroud thing off, but I'm a fucking idiot sometimes. <sighs> close to trying to remove this uh, water pump. Should have loosened this one before I started making a movie about it. Holy lightning Christ. Pretty loose in this one, it's pretty easy. So I'll go ahead and finish loosening off that. And I don't really know if I gotta take any of these components out yet, but I've got to disconnect this hose for sure. Uh, I'll fill you in when the information is ready. gonna look real easy in this video but you gotta really stick a pry bar back here and really pull on it and that comes right out of there more bolts that are 9 16 up on the top here I've adjusted this further back that way to uh, allow for movement oh. okay. and then this one here the 13 I don't know why it's different but it is bolt I guess. See if that helps me get this uh, pump out of this power steering pump out of the way. I don't know why the power steering pump has to be in the way of the water pump but it does. Okay. Well, for those of you that are at home watching there's a, a bolt hidden, a bolt hidden up there that you got to take out in order to uh, remove that power steering pump. So, there we go. So I found one more bolt further back in the Chronicles of Hell back there. Uh, I can't get at it with the camera, but I can try to get at it with this, the wrench. This here was a lot, a lot of fucking around. So there's a bolt behind this bastard right here that you have to get from this side through there, through a little hole in your fucking power steering pump. You have to fully undo your power steering uh, adjuster to get back there and then 
you can pop off all of these bolts on your water pump and then it just pops off and then you disconnect the hose up here and it should just come right out.